Hi there! In today's video I'm going to show you how to use Google Sheets if formula. It's one of the most useful functions in Google Sheets. Just like the Excel if formula, it returns meaningful words from a logical expression of your spreadsheet data. Carrying out different actions and providing different answers if the test result was true or false. But let me show you in practice. As you can see, I have some sample data right here in a Google Sheet to show you how the IF formula works. This spreadsheet contains some fake company data and in this sheet I have some customer information such as the user ID, of course the name, email, age and the state of the user and the day they subscribed. Now in column G and H I want to pinpoint the lead status, so whether these users are hot or cold leads. So I'm gonna do that by typing if and then as a logical expression we're gonna select the subscription date and if this was before before October the 1st then the lead is considered to be cold and if it was on October 1st or after so the value if false then the lead is considered to be hot so we're gonna now do this for the entire list of users and as you can see with the F formula you can easily identify if these leads are hot or cold. Another example for the customer group, in this company we have different sales approaches to people of different ages. So in this column I want to see if the people are 25 or younger or if they're older than 25. So we're gonna do that by typing the F formula again and then of course D2 the age is younger or equal to 25, then they're 25 or younger, for example. And if not, so if they're older, then we're gonna type that they're older than 25. There we go. Again, do that for the entire list. And that's it. That's how you use the basic if formula in Google Sheets to simply decide if a logical expression is true or false. Now let me show you the more complex nested if statements. To show you an example of a nested if statement, I've added two columns to my sheet. So we have the sales per user. And then in column J, I want to type out, I want to have in words, if these people have bought none, only one or more than one product. So to do so, we're gonna type the if formula again, of course. And if the sales are equal to zero, then this person has bon bought none, so no products. But then, if they, on the other hand, have bought more than one, then we're, we have a customer who did multiple buys. And on the other hand, of course, the value if false is that they only did a single buy of your products. So as you can see, it returns none. But then if you check for the entire product list, you see that this person that bought three things has done a multiple buy and here this person a single buy. So this is a simple example of a nested if statement to test data against multiple sets of criteria. But of course, as you can imagine, these can become very long and complex. So luckily, there's an alternative for this and that's the ifs formula in Google Sheets. I'll put the link in the description for you to take a look at that. That's how you use the if formula in Google Sheets. If you have any questions about it, please comment below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and take a look at our other videos about anything spreadsheet related and how to automate them, improve your work. Thank you very much.